You're listening to Five Before, a faith community podcast. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and the Google Play Store. Hey guys, welcome to the Five Before here at Faith Community Church. I am Heather Yarbrough and I'm your host for today. Uh, Many of you know that I homeschool my daughter, Ellie Ray. And every year we choose a verse from the Bible that is kind of our anthem for the whole year. You know, we come back to it, we use it, we talk about it. And this year's verse comes from Isaiah 64, 8. And it says, for we are the clay and he is the potter. We are all the work of his hand. And so as I was researching this verse, And I was beginning to wonder because I saw other verses in the Bible that talked about clay and just always talked about clay. And so as I was researching, I found out that during Jesus's time, every container that they ever used for anything, whether it be for food or water or wine, was always made out of clay. Everything was made out of clay. Um, whereas today we have different things. We use containers that are made of metal. We have containers that are made out of plastic. We have containers that are made out of glass. We even have containers that are made out of fabric, wood. So we have a lot of different um, containers that we use. So that verse sometimes is not as relevant to us today. As it, as it was during Jesus' time when all they used were clay containers. So I wanted to make that verse very relevant for my daughter. So I went and got some air-dry clay, and we created clay pots. Okay? Um, and this was like coiled clay pots. That's what it was called. And so we just started, we just designed whatever we wanted to make out of these clay pots. And we left them for a day, and then we came back the next day. And again, like I said, they were, it was air dry clay, so over time it dries out. Well, I came back the second day, and my poor little pot, the little handle, had just fallen off. So it had a major flaw in it. And so by that point, the, cl- the clay was still kind of pliable, so I could still work it, and I could put my little handle back on, and, and it was fine. And that made me think about another verse that I had come across, which was Jeremiah 18, 4. And it says, But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. Marred means it was flawed. It was messed up. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Um, And so... These pots, and even Ellie Ray with her pot, you know, she was making the point of, oh, something's wrong over here, and I was noticing flaws in mine. And at some point, we both talked about just completely starting over, just crushing our little creations and just taking our clay and starting over. Um, But we didn't. We just tried to fix the flaws and reshape the flaws that were in there. But the longer that these pots sat out, the drier they got and the harder they got over time. And that got me thinking about how we as Christians are. Um, Since we are the clay and and God is our potter, I thought about the clay and what we keep our clay in. So once we've used our clay, we have a bag that we keep it in. And so we have our little clay here. This is our unused clay. And as long as we keep it in this airtight bag, the clay will stay pliable. It will stay flexible. We can continue to make something new out of it. But if we let it set out, it will dry and it will harden. And um, it just made me think about this bag. I'm a science teacher. I'm a hands-on person. So oftentimes with hands-on things, I often think about how things can relate to um, things of the Bible. And so this bag reminded me of um, the Word of God and surrounding ourselves with people that believe in the Word of God. As long as we as the clay surround ourselves, you know, we keep ourselves in the Bible and we surround ourselves with people that believe like we do, we can stay flexible 
And God can continue to mold us and to shape us into the people that he wants us to be. But if we take ourselves out of that scenario and we expose ourselves to the world and to all the things of the world and never, never get back into the word of God, then just like the clay, we will become hardened. Um, we will become less pliable. And the Lord will have a, definitely a harder time shaping us and molding us into the people that we are designed to be. Um, so I just want to encourage you today that, you know, if you are outside of the will of God, um, and we all have moments in our lives, seasons of our lives where we are, um, where, where we are outside the will, we all have flaws, um, and we will always have flaws. You know, no one is perfect. But as long as we surround ourselves with those people um, and we stay in the will of God and we're reading his word and we're praying and we're doing all the things that we you know, should do to stay, keep our relationship close with God, he can shape us. He can reform us. He can fix our flaws um, and make us the people that he has designed us to be. So I just want to encourage you if you're struggling and you feel like your flaws are too big for God, I just want to tell you that they're not, that you know, go to God, pray, ask him um, to help you and he will reshape and he'll take those flaws out and he will work you into and, and create the person that you were designed to be on this earth so that we can go out and spread the word of God to everybody around. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. I hope you guys have a great week and I'm going to pray for you um, before we go. So let's pray. Father God, first of all, I just thank you for Lessons in the Bible, Lord, that uh, we can relate to. Um, lessons that um, makes make, make sense for those of us that are hands-on like me. Um, Lord, thank you that we are the clay and you are the potter. I pray, Father, that we um, keep our relationship strong with you so that you can continue to fix our flaws, Lord, to reshape and to mold us into the people, Lord. Um, that we are designed and created to be. Um, Lord, I just pray that um, if we are struggling, Lord, you will give us a nudge and you will remind us that you are our creator. You're the potter and you can fix our flaws. Um, help us to stay in that will of God, Lord. Help us to stay surrounded by people who are like-minded people. Um, help us to continue to pray and to read your word so that we can keep our relationship fresh. Father, I just ask these things in your precious son's name. Amen. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to 5 Before, a faith community podcast. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and in the Google Play Store.